So today was a bit of a funny day. I built this 630 volt DC power supply for tube circuits and to test it out and just to generally mess with RF power I built this Armstrong oscillator here based on this Geo50 pentode, uh, this variable capacitors and some homemade inductors. Now the things with that circuit didn't quite work out but um, I got it to oscillate at about 380 to 1.5 megahertz and 380 kilohertz I mean to 1.5 megahertz and um, I had this old secondary here which resonates at about 430 kilohertz or something so I thought why not connect it up and make a little base fed vacuum tube Tesla coil and um, I did that and it actually works. So the voltage drops down to about 400 volts DC even though we have about 500 volts the AC input um, to the rectifier and then smoothing capacitor. So this thing must be drawing quite a bit of current so that it is loading down the voltage there. But um, if we tune this variable capacitor just right, we can actually get some breakout. Okay, we can see we have some breakout now. Now, the breakout isn't super impressive, but I mean, it's also a small tube and this is basically CW. But um, the interesting thing is, is that the RF power this thing puts out is, a is, is pretty huge. I mean, if we put this neon tube here, it lights up very bright. And we can actually bring it out to quite a far distance before it uh, extinguishes. And even more impressive is that if we take an old style light bulb and hold it close, we get uh, a bit of plasma inside the bulb. But the impressive thing is, is that we can actually bring it out quite far before that plasma extinguishes. And that is very impressive because um, sustaining such a plasma inside this bulb takes a lot of power. So this uh, coil must be radiating a lot of RF power. And we can actually pick it up with this scope here and we can see that it's running at about 433 kilohertz. Um, so about the resonance frequency of the secondary. But yeah, I just thought uh, this little project was cool to share and I'm definitely impressed by how much RF power this thing puts out. I mean, this is quite impressive. But um, the Geo 50 isn't very happy so um, it's better turn it off again.